Okay, so recently I've been kind of getting into the Beatles and what had me started getting into the Beatles was the Beatles cartoon. Now, this is the worst thing <laughs> to ever exist. Think of it like my channel, but like take any charm out of it and make it in the 60s. You know what? Yeah, just make my channel in the 60s. You got the Beatles cartoon. I'm gonna show you a few things and, uh, yeah. Okay, so my, so my freaking speakers sound like shit, so I'm just gonna dub it. <laughs> Leave me alone! Don't bother me! Okay, that's a horrible John Lennon voice. I'm sorry. So fucking... Don't bother me! So as you can see, it's, uh, it's pretty good. We get wonderful screen caps such as this. Oh my fucking god, I love this image. <laughs> Whoops, guys, guess I messed up. If it hadn't been for the laws of this land, I would have slaughtered you. But yeah, Ringo gets pushed around along this cartoon, usually by John or Paul. And then George is like, George, we can't decide if he's on this side or this side. Okay, good and evil. Look at this unholy image. I'm gonna read it. Oh my god. Either God or Tumblr. Oh wow. Intervened the first time I tried to submit this. So here it is again. This was sent by me and one of my friends. We are both mutually vexed by it. I have no context for it, and I don't know what episode it's from. Regardless, it is one of the worst. Most confusing images from the cartoon I have ever seen. Please allow me to explain. The reason that I find this particular screenshot so perplexing is not the fact that Ringo's neck is bent at an alarming 60 degree angle backwards. It is not the fact that John, for some reason, and surely beyond our fuck my hand, um, beyond our moral, mere mor- beyond the understanding of our mere mortals, suddenly and unexpectedly is now 10 inches his size, or whatever. He's tiny! John's tiny. I fucking can't read. The thing I find most confusing about this image is Paul. This screenshot of Paul does not look more remote- Okay. This does not look like Paul, in case you can't tell. This is what Paul is supposed to look like. But for some reason, he looks like this. Yep. And then John has like some sort of Lenny face here. Oh god. I love this. Watch this, just watch this. Hold up, we gotta get the perfect music. Okay, I think I got the perfect music. Sonny! I'm recording! Oh my god, George. You're awake! <laughs> Look at this shit. Oh my lord. He dies. He dies. I want you- wait, no. So what can I do for you? My cat, Sunny. What? My spe- Do you want to enjoy some shitty music with me? Do you want to watch the shitty Beatles cartoon with me? Uh, I'll take that as a yes. The second Beatles animation, 1968. Wonderful art, creative concepts, colorful color, and just an abstract sort of movie. I was actually scared of this when I was a child, so, uh... Yeah, don't- if you're, if you're a small bab child, this may be too weird for you. The first Beatles cartoon, 1965 to 1967. Yep! Yeah! Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, why does- Paul? Oh, why did I- Oh sweet fucking Jesus, what is wrong with Paul? George looks normal. Okay, th this is one of my favorite clips. Uh, George, get your blinking teeth out of my arm. Can't you wait for the dinner bell? You must be tough, I'm never near your arm. Well then who are you? A tiger! Don't panic, Ringo! 
This image right here brings me certain death that John is ready to shoot off Ringo's arm. Did the Beatles smoke weed? At least two of them, apparently! Holy shit! Look at this. Look! I think these are supposed to be Legos, but holy shit. Ooh, Paul! <laughs> I freaking love this image, cause... <laughs> I don't know why this is so damn funny, but like, Jesus. How do we depict fear? I've got it! I bags! Oh my god, this, this seriously is my fucking cartoon. Well, my channel. They're making fun of us! What else can we do? Hunch! I can't bloom, bud! Fuck. I can't put the blooming thing! Maybe there'll be a bu button that'll open the door. Button suddenly appears because George said it would. The fact that George can spontaneously spawn buttons at whim is alarming. I made a post with the intention of posting some nice pictures of Ringo and George, but upon my designated folder of two, I fear I can only find pictures of Felicia and Carlton. And this is the first fucking picture. You know what this looks like? It looks like this scene where he's like, Just had to! I swear to fucking Christ! And then we have this lovely image. <laughs> My personal favorite! <laughs> Holy shit! I'm so glad that she is my little girl, which gives me very bad vibes. Uh, oh my god, that fucking chin. Holy shit. Okay, so, like I said, my speakers are really fucked up right now. But, uh, I want you to listen to this. The distortion makes it even better. Yes! Holy shit, I'm sorry. <laughs> like, the way he's just like, yes! Like, doesn't he, like, doesn't even flinch, just, yes! Here's the infamous Paul gibberish scene. Knock, knock. What the fuck is he even saying? All we can make up is black berries. Oh, here's a good one. Now, as a saying, kids, I expect each and every one of you to really. What the places are you doing? I want you to try, and I mean really try to put this into context. What are you doing, Ringo? Hailing a cab? This is I'm doing a hula. This is how they do the hula. Uh, they, that's how they do it. I'm sorry, we're going. Look out! <laughs> Holy shit! Like, go away, this is the way to do the Just George, like, being full. <laughs> Holy shit, can I just get, like, the one screen? No, 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 no. Okay. Yes, legs. <laughs> John, please. That's obscene. Holy shit, he's flipping the wall off. John, the wall has feelings, too. This is my favorite image of George from this goddamn cartoon. Cause look at the way he stares at this sandwich! Thank god it's the 60s and people can't slow down <laughs> to see how terribly we've drawn this cartoon! Oh hey, it's the best image of Paul doing this. Okay, this isn't a clip, but it's still the best thing ever. Hi Paul, I got you these roses and I think you love them. Wow, jeez! What a good friend you are, John! I'm bisexual, you dumb fuck! Okay, this is a very interesting thing because apparently they had like beetle blow up things. Take a look. This isn't the original clip, but I still love it. <laughs> look at this. Look at this shit! Oh my god. Stop, look. Life boy! Oh my god, you can hear like screaming! John, Ringo, George, and Paul! <laughs> Holy shit, I think I think I have speakers just <laughs> My speakers just died! Oh, I have a vessel! If Disney made a reboot of the Beatles cartoon. Okay, so we're gonna keep the sing-alongs, obviously. 
modernize the art style a little bit. In a, maybe. If Nickelodeon made the reboot of the Beatles. How about we use the timelessness of the Beatles and fit it to the brim with outdated memes, loud obnoxious humor, and just screw the original material in general about what is... What about Ringo Gabin? If Cartoon Network made a reboot of the Beatles cartoon, make it gay. So in the paperback writer episode, some guy asked for the four to write stories of how they met each other for a book. They all imagine different fantasies. Ringo imagines the other three groveling at his feet. Well, he, he is famous in the musical rendition of Hamlet he directed. This isn't wrong considering all Ringo's ever wanted is a little respect from his bandmates. George dreams of having an even more defiant facial structure. Even more! John wants to be a fighter pilot, which is not surprising seeing all he ever seems to want to do is destroy other people. And then we have Paul. He's a doctor that wants to cure yellow fever. He calls the prison to send in three lifers to test a new serum. And you'll never guess what happens, who they happen to be. Yeah, it, it's, it's his pals, it's his pals. And they die as a result. I am not shitty, look at this. They are dead! Paul's fantasy is about murdering his friends in all their fantasies about ways they'd like to meet their friends or things they wanted to do. Paul wants to kill them! That scares me a little! I mean, with a face like this, I, I, I think it's... Is no one gonna talk about George here? Holy <laughs> shit! Here comes John's ass! Listen to this. Listen to this. Damn it, John! I have no words for this image other than why the heck are you looking at Paul's rear end, though? I hate this. I hate this. Hey, you guys remember A Hard Day's Night? The cover looks pretty cool. This is probably one of the best clips. Wait, no, no, no. Show, show me the image where Paul gets smacked. Yes! Yes! <laughs> hey, boys, I found another curse image for ya! Hey, remember Rubber Soul? The cover looks pretty cool. I'll, I'll, let, I'll let you subtitle this picture. I have no words for it. Okay, I personally fucking hate this clip. There's a pussy cot inside. Hey, come here, pussy. Come here, pussy. That's a man-eating tiger. Go away, pussy. Go away, pussy. These are the two most cursed things I have ever seen in my goddamn life. I love how in the sing-alongs when the song is clearly about some girl, whichever Beatle who wrote it, it liked at the time, but it's always trying to make it involve the four Beatles and we end up with these confusing romances between Ringo and Paul. Holy shit, holy, oh my god, yeah. I wanna die. And to conclude our beautiful journey, I have the best clip in all of the this stupid ass cartoon. Yes. Ringo is looking for John. Proceeds to illuminate the face of Satan. Oh, there you are! Match goes out. Oh, darn it! So yeah, I uh, I'm probably gonna do analysis an analysis of one of the episodes. So uh, oh lord, this is gonna be awful.